guys and welcome back to the weekly reading. If you're new here, my name is Celia and I am a Danish model, actress, spiritual coach and conscious creator. I'm here to help all of you guys reclaim your power and to f reclaim your conscious creator abilities again and to activate your angelic DNA. And one of the ways I do this is through the oracle readings where we help guide you from the angelic forces. Generally, I just work with whatever you want to call it, the universe, the angels, the subconscious, just with some loving energies that will help us all see clearly what are the next step to take. If you want daily readings, go follow me on Instagram. And if you want to learn how to do these readings for yourself, I offer coaching on my website. And also I have written a book with lots of practical steps that help you connect with this inner power. So without further ado, let's get on with the reading. First of all, I want to say we start Tuesday because uh, yesterday, Monday, I, I was not able to finish the reading because I had a lot of work. But Tuesday, better late than never. And let's get on with it. We have the beautiful crystals here from Spirit Magic Annette. As usual, I have a discount code for you guys in the description because I'm an affiliate. Um, and yeah, you can get some really beautiful crystals and they sell them for a very good price, so I can totally recommend. And I can give you an additional 11% discount. So let's see with the reading. You guys know the drill. If you're new here, I just let the cards fall out so that we let the guidance come to us naturally. And I usually work with the same two decks. I have some new decks now. Um, but I need to kind of attune to them a bit before I use them. So Dolomit, that's a beautiful pink card here. It has to do with compassion. Actually the heart chakra is green, but it has like an area that is capable of being pink once compassion has been activated. So this card says, be strong in your faith. A positive result requires that you maintain a positive thinking, a positive state of mind. So for Tuesday, this card says, this card symbolizes a different form of strength, which is built on the foundation of trusting your inner guidance. And so this card is telling you to focus on your inner guidance, keep your heart and your mind filled with faith. Even if things don't seem logical, trust that you are on the right path. Because when things don't feel logical, we can feel kind of scared, we can feel anxious. So try and put yourself in positive activities. Do something that helps raise your vibration, like listening to gentle music, uh, being part of spiritual groups, or just dancing, or whatever makes you feel good, really. The thing is, in life, you can't control life, but you can control your mindset. And this card is telling you that you can determine the out outcomes in your life. As we know, as conscious creators, we do have an ability to affect the outcomes in our life. and the way we do this is by focusing on what we want to create and then raising our vibration. So generally this card is asking you to focus on raising your vibration, be strong in your faith. And it has to do with kind of the feminine energy, the feminine aspects of faith, receiving compassion like we see the color of the card here. So to stay, whatever situation this is pointing to, just be strong in your faith. Wednesday, this card came, beautiful blue color, deep emotional healing. Your heart is ready to heal prior experiences. So this card usually comes if you have been through some loss or some difficult situation in the past and you have needed some time to really process this um, and now you've reached like a point where you are ready to either take it a step further or, or kind of overcome it. So it could be if it, you've gone through loss in a romantic relationship, you're ready to allow a new romance. Or it could be if you have gone through another, a different kind of loss, you're ready to mm, move forward by getting therapy. If you have lost, for instance, a pet, it could be a sign that you're ready to get a new pet. Always adopt if you're going to do that. And you're being guided to dedicate some time on this personal healing. So whatever it could be, meeting with a friend, talking with a friend, meeting with a therapist, doing prayer activity, 
Also do some kind of cleansing. Cleanse yourself from chemical foods, from chemicals in general and from negative uh, influences. As right now you're going for a healing, you need to have the most positive environment around you as possible as you are a little more susceptible. Woo! That was so fast. Did you guys see that? Okay, and that is such a continuation of the message. How incredible is this? Remove negativity. And you see similar uh, Im imagery as this card. So just as I was saying that second as this card came out, remove negativity, release inner and outer negativity. And this card comes when you really are in a moment of your life right now that you're going through a transition. You need to cleanse yourself from any activity. You need to understand that everything you see Everything you hear, everything you eat, it enters your body, either physically or energetically. And you need to take care of your body because it's your vehicle for navigating this planet here, for navigating this earth, for experiencing life. Please stop putting toxins inside yourself. So please focus on your diet. I have a page called Celia's Raw Vegan Journey where I talk only about diet and lifestyle and how you can eat and live in order to support yourself in the best way uh, and also stop watching negative TV shows, stop watching negative news, stop being around people who talk negatively about everything, who criticize. Right now you need to cleanse yourself from this. So first day, you have the message right there. <laughs> that was so powerful. Okay, one card came out, this again blue, we're doing so much blue today, I just had a private reading as well and there were so many blue cards coming out, which is funny because they're like all mixed. For first day, give room for all your emotions, allow yourself to feel the entire spectrum of emotions. So this card is a message for us for first day to allow ourselves to feel all emotions, even the uncomfortable one that's also part of cleansing and we need to do this in order to let our creative inspiration flow so wherever you're holding yourself back or repressing any sort of emotion first day try and take a moment to really work on releasing this emotion so that you can allow your creative inspiration to flow when you do this you might get some ideas pertaining to a business idea um, pertaining to something that can really benefit your life positively so first day Try and work a little on this and ask yourself where you may be holding back from allowing yourself to feel certain specters of emotion. Because we have all been taught like it's good to be happy and stuff, but there are certain emotions we can't feel. But we need to let it all flow, like I said in last week's reading, we need to let it all flow like children so that we can also allow ourselves to feel the positive emotions fully. Let's see if we have more messages. Actually, I have a feeling to take the next deck. So we're going to switch deck. And see what messages come for the rest of the week. That one came fast, Friday. <laughs> Relax, everything will be okay. What a cool message for Friday. And look at this beautiful chill unicorn. It says, there's no reason to worry, everything would solve itself. And I literally just opened this page. So it's saying, no matter how your situation looks right now, this card is asking you to relax and release your worry, everything will be okay. And it's kind of giving the analogy that, you know, if you've seen a movie where it's drama and action and it seems like nothing's going to solve itself and we don't know, there's all this suspense and you're thinking, how are they ever going to get out of this situation? But then in the end, the situation is solved and everyone is happy and the card is kind of telling you that in the same way you're going to see your life situation turn out fine as well. Whatever stressful situation you're going through it will soon be over and it will carry with it an important life lesson that will give you a lot of value. So right now um, the, it's time to spend on taking care of yourself just like these other cards have said. Cleanse, remove negativity, allow yourself to feel all emotions. It seems like you there's transitionings happening here 
life lessons like always on this planet and things are happening fast now with the ascension of the planet so really just relax friday have some fun meet a friend or friends and just enjoy life Saturday, teamwork, work together with other people to solve this situation, like the kitty and the unicorn is doing. So basically, this card explains itself. Saturday, whatever situation, or in general, whatever situation you have, Saturday could be a day to call up some contacts, work together with some people to solve this situation. And um, you don't have to do everything yourself. This is especially important for people who like to do everything themselves. No, get some help from friends. And Saturday is the perfect day to do that. So call up a friend for some help or see where you can give help and work as a team. It's all about teamwork. It could also be Saturday, uh, join a team sport. Like anything that will help you connect with this feeling of working together with other people for a higher purpose. see what more comes out for the Sunday. Whoops. Oh, thankfulness. Think about the people and situation you think you are thankful for. So the message for Sunday, write a gratitude list. Write down 10 things that you're grateful for and in general take a moment to just think about all the miracles you're blessed with in this life. Um, it seems maybe you're going through a challenging situation but regardless of this, we are so blessed, even if we forget it sometimes, that we get to live on this beautiful, one of the most diverse and abundant planets of the universe. I absolutely love this planet and just taking a walk in nature can kind of remind us how abundant and how blessed we are. Also, most of us in this Western world, and if you're watching it, you probably have a roof over your head, you probably have food, an abundance of food, you probably have friends and family. We are so blessed in so many ways, but sometimes if we go through a challenging situation, we can kind of forget this. So Sunday, please take a moment to, okay, it's the end of the week. Just think about all the wonderful miracles that happened that week. Because it's all about perspective. And as a conscious creator, the more you focus on all the positive things that manifest in your life, the more you're going to experience these positive things and more positive things coming your way. So for Sunday, take a moment for this. And that's a beautiful way to end the week. So generally, for this week, work on yourself a lot. Work on cleansing, uh, work on having your faith strong, and whatever situation you're going through, it's all about you cleansing yourself right now, allowing all emotions to be there, relaxing, trusting the process, uh, working together with other people, and being thankful for the life that you have and that you're living. Okay, my loves, I hope you benefited from this reading. I highly recommend to go through it during the week. What I do personally is, you know, now I know the reading, but then for instance, Wednesday, I may have forgot, oh, what card was that? I will look at the video again for Wednesday and usually I find there's some really, really good tips we can take with this. Uh, of course, you take only what resonates, but usually there could be something here and there for you. Again, if you want daily readings, please go follow me on Instagram, Conscious Creator by Celia, where I post daily readings. And also, if you want to learn how to do these readings yourself, which everyone can learn, I offer angelic coaching on my website, becomeaconsciouscreator.com, where I teach you through practical and scientific steps how to connect with your intuition again and how to activate your higher DNA, your angelic DNA, which we all carry inside. It's just that most people don't activate it, but we can through practical steps, such as our lifestyle, such as certain practice, practices, such as meditations, etc. I share all of that. And also I have written how to communicate with the angels for anyone who just wants to do it 
uh, at their own pace from their home I share a lot of practical steps in there as well that will help you tap into your angelic DNA and the angelic realms in general oh and as a note about the cleansing go check out also my what I eat in a day video where I actually share what I eat as a conscious creator to keep my body clean healthy functioning at its most optimal level and um, I share the different foods and the different properties and the different benefits that the foods contain. And also go follow Celia's Raw Vegan Journey where I share daily tips and tricks as well. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you're new here, feel free to join the family, like the video. And I look so much forward to see you guys in the very next video. Ciao! Come <laughs>